Okay, so thanks to Orange Pie for sending me the Orange Pie 5 Plus. I now have the full quota of Orange Pies. Uh, this is the original one I bought, which was the 4 gig model Orange Pie 5. Uh, I've also got the Orange Pie 5B that Orange Pie sent me, and now the Pie Plus. I've already done a video comparing NVMe versus EMMC, and NVMe was definitely faster. But the NVMe connection on this Orange Pie 5 Plus is faster plus it has the more superior CPU, uh, not by loads, but uh, it is the RK3588, not the 3588S. I'm gonna use this MakerDisk NVMe drive uh, because it's 2280, which is the right size for this. You can see there's a screw hole at the end here. So let's plug that in. I'm not gonna bother to screw it in. I have put some little feet on here, some little rubber feet. Uh, this one I need to tighten up really, uh, just to basically raise it up so that this isn't touching. So you can see like that. Uh, and then the output, because there's three HDMI's on this, there's two outputs and one input as well. And there is supposed to be support for the input in this version of Ubuntu, I'm sure I read that. Uh, this is the power USB-C and Ethernet, I don't know if I, I think I used this one before, I'm not sure if both, no, I think I used this one. Not sure if both work, but we'll soon see. And we've got two USB-3 and two USB-2 on the back. Uh, connectivity is amazing. We've got a three and a half mil jack right next to an SD card slot, which might be problematic if you're trying to unplug and plug an SD card. Let's see what happens. Oh no, it's all right. Yeah, that is fine. You can plug in and unplug. So let's switch on. Pop my uh, Dixon Industries heatsink. This is a Raspberry Pi heatsink. Um, but I'm sure it's going to make a bit of a difference. I was going to put a fan on there. Um, I could, there's a little hole here which I could put a little standoff in and put a fan on like I used to do with the Orange Pi 5 before I got the Ice Tower cooler. Um, but uh, I'm sure this will be absolutely fine. Probably need to make sure that SD card is out. Might confuse things. And my lights come on on my monitor. And we have Ubuntu. And this is the Joshua Reich version of Ubuntu. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to the GitHub. And you can see there's 19 releases of this. The latest one which I'm using is 1.18. And if we scroll down, uh, loads of support for all sorts of different boards. Uh, Orange Pi 5, 5B and 5 Plus. So it makes it great for testing for me. Really good video performance in this as well. So let's open up a terminal and I have a document with the command I need to use. So let's copy this in and paste. So this is the Raspberry Pi agnostic speed test and you can see it happens very, very quick. So let's have a look. I usually go on random read speed as being the best one. Uh, so 47352, 47627. These were both the same, look. Random write speed 7, 1, and then 56. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. So let's get rid of all the rest of it. I could pop a USB stick and save it onto that so I can put it into the Orange Pi 5 in a minute. So let's save that on the USB stick. And let's have a look at this HDMI input. Well, I wonder if it's got an app for it. Maybe Cheese might show it up. Let's plug in my little Melee mini PC as it's already powered and plug it into the HDMI input. So the HDMI input is this one. And power on the Melee mini PC. Well, that seems to be showing up all right. Uh, I did have to close it down and restart it a few times, uh, cheese, and also play around with the settings. Uh, and in the preferences, so you can see the one I'm using is, I guess, the top one here, and the resolution I've changed it to 1920 by 1080. But then it seems to work. So if I hit record, that should take a photo of the desktop. And if I press video, well, it hasn't taken a photo. It's quit out. Let's see, so let's get back in. And let's just try the video mode and hit record. And if I move the mouse on this one, 
yeah you can see it moving on the screen obviously it's it's not full speed but if I open up the browser you can see that that's working and if I hit stop that's the video it's recorded hit open I have tried this before on Android on a Mekatronics board and it works really well with this same chip yeah that seems to be working looks pretty crisp yep yeah, happy with that right so I need to close all this down and uh, write the same operating system to the same NVMe drive and start it up in an Orange Pi 5. So let's power that off. Okay, so let's use Raspberry Pi Imager to write this. Choose OS. This is exactly the same method I used for the Orange Pi 5 Plus, just the different version, the Orange Pi 5 Plus specific version. So use custom, and you can see that's my Pi 5 Plus folder. Let's go to my Pi 5 folder, and this is the Ubuntu. Open, choose storage. So I've just plugged in my little NVMe caddy. So let's select that and hit right, and yes. Okay, so now it's running on the Orange Pi 5. It's all updated and rebooted, so let's run the speed test. So let's open up a terminal and paste it in. And they're starting to run the test now. And let's see which one does best. So we need to pick the one with the fastest random read speed. So random read 41478, 42, 41. Okay, so it's the middle one. So let's copy that and paste it into this document. And we'll put the S back on. So how are we looking? So Orange Pi 5 Plus at the top. So sequential write speed, 569,878 versus 392,431, so considerably faster there. Random write speed, 71,234 versus 56,888, massive improvement again. And random read speed, 47,627 versus 42,226. So yeah, it, I mean, it, it was expected, but it's nice to see that uh, the Orange Pi 5 Plus running on NVMe is the fastest Orange Pi 5 you can buy with the best connectivity. And if we have a look on the website, just to show how good connectivity is, so you can see it says 5 volt, 4 amp, type C. I was using a 5.1 volt, 3 amp, which is the official Raspberry Pi adapter, and it was absolutely fine. So we've got two 2.5 gigabit ethernet sockets. We've got the two HDMI outputs, the HDMI in, two USB 2, M.2 input for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, USB 3C input, and also two USB A 3.0 sockets. And obviously we're using the slightly better RK3588 processor. And let's have a look. Oh, there's some benchmarks here. 3588 versus 3588S. Shouldn't be that dissimilar. You can see all the specs, space frequency, turbo frequency, cache memory, max memory capacity. Everything is the same all the way down here, same GPU. Okay, so obviously I'll be doing loads more testing on the Orange Pi 5 Plus, but thanks very much to Orange Pi for sending it to me. I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.